Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about the latest news out of Mali. Okay, as most of you guys know, um, just a few days ago, there had been a coup. Um, four military, high-ranking military officers um, went in and they overthrew the democratically elected president of Mali, Ibrahim Bobakar Keita. Okay, but recently they have freed the um, ousted president, but the military junta government is still in power, and I do not believe the U.S. should suspend military aid to Mali because most of the military leaders that did that, um, by and large, had fought a lot of ISIS terrorists. They've been veterans of the war on terror. Now, with that being said, the coup probably should have not happened, okay? And I agree to condemn the coup, but I don't think military aid and military training should be suspended. Uh, France is not going to do that, and neither is the United Kingdom. Uh, because the Mali military is a vital ally to the war on terror, and they have been a vital ally to uh, combating ISIS. Now, here's the thing with, with why the coup took place, even though I don't think the coup um, happened. Ibrahim Bobakar Kita has largely been neglectful to any tribe or clan that does not belong to his own. And it's the same with the region. He's a very regional president, even though his job is to govern all the Malian people, not just his own tribe and his own region. And there was a lot of growing frustration with uh, Ibrahim Obakar Keita for that. Um, but the, the Mali's West African neighbors are right, saying that they want a, the, a, the power to go to the transitional government and they need to have elections within a year. And I firmly believe that the uh, West African neighbors are right about that. Uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, God bless Mali. Pray that the situation gets better. And um, glad that the military junta has freed President Keita. Um, proud that they did that. Um, so, hope everybody's, and if you ask me, there needs to be a recall election to see, well, first of all, the Malian people need to vote to see if President Keita should be recalled, and if there's enough vote to recall President Keita, then start a, uh, then have a new election. So, uh, for a new president. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care, God bless, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.